I was actually supposed to be up first, but I was late. Late. <laughs> <laughs> but who wears a watch a lot? Yeah. Uh, so as long as we're on the light bulb thing, um, how many Sopranos does it take to change a light bulb? Anybody know? Yeah, just one. It's not always successful because the soprano assumes she puts her hands up and the world will turn around her. <laughs> <laughs> many, I like it. How many tenors does it take to change a light bulb? It's a trick question. If they're going to put things up that high, nobody can reach them. <laughs> how many bases does it take to change a light bulb? None, they just rather stumble around in the dark until they bump into something usable. <laughs> and altos? Well, nobody pays attention or remembers them anyway. So Aww. <laughs> um, anybody else? Last year? Barb? Yep. Here's something that if you didn't get to sit next to John, you probably never saw in action. John's the only person I ever sat next to in a choir that was texting people while Wilma was talking. He was uh, he had this inside his music and he was I do. I mean, he says it was hidden inside my music. I think it was in my palm most of the time. Oh, yeah. And my arm was doing that. I always wondered why you never said anything to him. If I so much as looked at you, That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah, just, yeah. I felt you, you might, might pay attention to me, but probably not so much. <laughs> if there is a premier amateur choir in town, or some of them are professional as well, but these master singers. And I remember one time Pete and I were used to used to be seated together. She has separated us <laughs> and with cause. Um, uh, she was wondering if Pete and I would be suitable to go over to Master Fingers and would we add some to that choir. And then she decided that Dr. Schwarzkopf doesn't take any. He will not tolerate anybody having any fun whatsoever. Cracking a joke, smiling. It's just not. It's, and she just thought there was no way possible that Pete and I couldn't possibly be working under a Garrett Ford. So that was on there. The other extraordinary choir, the Years of the Glory Sounds, when we had our little gospel octet here. Um, uh, we had our own little things that we did there, and our little sayings, but we had this acronym FOW, which stood for Fear of Wilma. <laughs> now, most of you are seated right now. I'm just going to say something. I don't want you to fall down and faint. I never was on a sports team. I never had a coach. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad nobody got hurt when they heard that. Yeah. And, <laughs> Uh, but uh, but basically, I think from what I hear about people who had coaches, they're often really, really hard on you when they want you to be really, really good. And Wilma was really hard on us in Glory Sounds. And we were really good. And we feared her, and we loved her so much. And now I'm crying. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Glory Sounds, um, and most of you know we moved away almost 13 years ago, and it was going to be hard. I was leaving one of my kids behind. I was leaving my, my church home behind, but the hardest part to leave was Glory Sounds and singing with Wilma and a special group of people. I knew that would never be replicated. I'm glad I'm here today. things. Um, I think for many of us, music is such a great part of our spiritual experience and our connection with God and, and how over the years it's been just profound for me and I bet for others to hear the music that you've led. Um, so thank you, thank you so much for being such a great part over these years, whether it was leading the choir, chanting or, or singing solos or duets or anything. You've been such a wonderful part of our congregation and our experience. And the second thing, I'm, I'm a little perplexed. Um, yeah, right. The Monday after Easter, supposedly, Wilma had rotator surgery, and she's been, you know, in the, the cup for the last, whatever, few weeks, four or five weeks, and we've all been feeling very sorry for her. And now that she's leaving, she's all healed and feel <laughs> 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 and ringing those 
And I feel like you kind of <clears throat> tricked us, but I'm not sure. So anyway. <laughs> searching for words to uh, thank you, Wilma. And I knew after all these choir and musical people uh, spoke, I wouldn't have any words. But I did search your library, you probably didn't know that. And I found a little book called Using Musical Terms in Everyday Ordinary Conversation. <laughs> do, do you remember that book? No. <laughs> it was hidden way in the back corner. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> well, what I'd like to do is thank you very, very much for your service at Grace Lutheran Church, and uh, thank you for the entire, on behalf of the entire congregation. First of all, thank you for developing a solid base for choirs to stand on in the future. Also, thank you for the tone and tenor of your music groups. They're absolutely rhapsodic. <laughs> and you don't even have a note. <laughs> well, yeah. I have notes here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I also want to tell you that if you think that the anthems today were your coda to your service at Grace, forget it. If you think you're going to leave, we would use our limits of Spanish and we'd say, Alto, Alto, stay around a bit. <laughs> and provide us with some encores. 
I think Pastor said, have no fear in the sermon today, and we uh, ask you to have no fear. And if you ever think you're going to leave us and not do encores, we're going to hire Tony Soprano to get you back. <laughs> so congratulations and our best wishes in the future. Would you step up here a minute? Oh, okay. Oh, I You will notice uh, at Wilma's place there's a cup with flowers in it. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our retired pastors said, uh, Wilma drinks tea, and eventually she'll fill that with tea or something else. <laughs> and being a church, we fill it with flowers. The flowers will wilt, but we hope you will buy some more flowers with this oh, gift certificate. Oh, yes. oh, okay, okay, this fell out. Oh. Okay, oh, yes, I've got, oh my gosh, I got a lot from Green, o Green Oasis. I love that place. Thank good, you. Good, good. Um, it says, here's an open road. You can hear me. I know you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> There's an open road ahead of you and all the time in the world for you to enjoy it. Happy retirement. And thank you, Wilma, for your dedicated service from Grace, Grace Lutheran Congre Congregation. And a Green Oasis card for $100. Yay! Yay! 